I am the Cartwright girl, dumped once upon a time with a strangled college student and a stack of human bones out past Highway 10. I am the star of screaming tabloid headlines and campfire ghost stories. I am one of the four black-eyed Susans, the lucky one. Those eerie words are spoken by Tessa, the star of my new psychological thriller, Black-Eyed Susans. At 16, Tessa is found barely alive with a scattering of old bones in a field blanketed with wildflowers known as Black-Eyed Susans. 18 years later, as an adult with a teenager of her own, she carries the voices of dead girls in her head and the guilt that her testimony as a girl helped put the wrong man on Texas death row. Because Tessa has a secret. Someone has been planting black-eyed Susans for her to find ever since. Is the real killer still out there? As the execution nears, Tessa joins forces with a cutting-edge forensic scientist and a death penalty attorney. The book moves back and forth in time, from the young, vulnerable 16-year-old in therapy sessions to the woman she becomes in a race against time, still tortured by fragmented memories of that night. I leave clues everywhere in Black-Eyed Susans, and yet I don't want you to find them. What I do want, to deliver a protagonist in Tessa who is both hero and victim, to create a pace that makes you want to gobble the book in one sitting, to provide prose that is clean and precise, but also lovely at times. To make you laugh every now and then because the dark always comes with the light. And as a journalist, I want the plot points about the Texas death penalty, forensic science, and memory recovery to be true to life. I consulted forensic scientist Rhonda Roby, one of the world's experts in using mitochondrial DNA to identify old and degraded bones. At 9-11, she was the one in charge of the 21,000 samples of mitochondrial DNA pulled from the Twin Towers site. She spent years identifying victims. I spoke with David Dow, a leading death penalty attorney who has represented more than 100 people on Texas death row and helped free two innocent ones. He led me to Anthony Graves, who spent 18 years in prison accused of slaughtering a family and setting their house on fire, a crime he had nothing to do with. When I started, I wanted my research to be authentic. Rhonda, David, and Anthony made me want to be a more authentic person. I hope that you enjoy Black Eyed Susans and that I keep you guessing. Because make no mistake, I'm playing a dark little mind game with you, and it is a game I want to win.